Hello mod creators and welcome to yet another of these um, yeah Fireworks Mania mod creator tutorial videos. Totally unedited, just one go. Yeah, that's how this is because that's the fastest thing I can do. Um, so this is the first time we are gonna have an experimental version of the game out, uh, which have a matching experimental version of the mod tools. If you've seen the dev like I just published uh, too, um, it might be a little confusing what I'm saying there. I can see now that I reviewed it, but I didn't have time to re-record it or I don't know if I can even explain it simpler, but I'll try here anyway for you guys, because it's important that you mod creators understands this. The game cannot load mods built with a newer version of the mod tools than the one that is matching the game. So that means that we have the current game, there's this default, the normal branch that the majority of the players are on, um, which is version 2022 1.1, I think right now, maybe 1.2, maybe. Um, and, um, and then we have a matching mod tools that is the current mod tool version that you're using right now. Now we are, I'm pushing out a new version of the game uh, to the experimental branch, so we can test it out here. We can test out some of the new mod tools things, um, but we, um, <laughs> um, and once we are done with that, we can kind of well that version will go into the main thing, and then everything is back to the to the main default branch, and we forget about the experimental one until a next version is put on uh, experimental. Man, it's confusing too. It's not actually that complicated. I just find it very hard to explain. But what I'm trying to say is that you cannot take, now that you are switching, I will show you in a moment how you can download the experimental version of the mod tools. Um, you cannot build, build your mod with that and then put it up on the mod IO right now. Uh, you will have to wait. You can, you can build it locally and share it on Discord with, with the players. But you not put it, push it to um, to the mod IO workshop, because if you do, the majority of players will be on the old or the current version, so your mod won't work there. It won't even load. Um, so I think that will cause a lot of confusion. I don't know how we can do this because this is the first time we are trying. Normally it's only me, you know, handling this. Um, but now that we have have mods and you guys are involved, uh, it's a little harder to. Uh, to control, I think, but we'll we'll try it out. So today, as you have just seen, hopefully in the devlog, I'm put, pushing out this new version, which includes the the new pickup uh, features and uh, and um, and uh, usable behavior um, plus some other stuff. Um, so that is pushed to the experiment branch on Steam. And that also, and I also have an experiment version of the mod tools that I will show you now how you can actually switch to, because it's actually pretty simple. <laughs> but uh, I'll I'll share it anyway. So what you will have to do is that you have your mod project here. First of all, make sure to back up before doing this, just to make sure. Um, of course, this will evolve into being the real version in the near future, but um, yeah, always back up, always a good idea. Man, I'm not good at explaining this. Um, anyway, you have your mod project here, and now you can see right now we you are on, well, you will most likely be the same as me here on 2022 1.1, and now we need to switch to the experimental version. The way we do this is that we go into the mod tools as we already love and know, and then we go down to the install fireworks mod tools. Then we grab this URL. I am considering putting in the experimental version down here. Um, so when you see this, I might have put it down here, then you can just copy that. Um, let me know in the comments if you would like it to be in here so it's easier to copy paste. But anyway, now I'm just showing you how this works. Because, so we copy this one, and just so you understand what's happening, what we'll do in a moment is basically just um, point to another branch on this Git repository. I don't know 
if you know what that is, but you can see here on the mod tools, we have a main and experimental branch. So the way you switch is that you go in here and you add the package again. That's also how you update normally. So you just do the same as you would normally do to update, but to get to the experimental branch, you go to the end of the URL, do a little hash sign and then write experimental and then add and then we'll install it. A little bonus info while it loads, hopefully I'll share more about that in the future, but hopefully we can soon upgrade the Unity version to get up to a version where you don't have to put in the URL every time you need to update the package um, because the, late, the newer version of Unity have a feature so you can just hit an update button um, in the package manager so you don't have to put in URL all the time and that's pretty neat. You still have to do it to switch to experimental and back but for regular updates, you can use that button in the new version of uh, of Unity. But more about that later. Um, the reason I haven't switched yet is because there are some graphic issues with my game here. But anyway, that was uh, off topic while it load. So now you can see here that the Fireworks Mania mod tools is now on 2022 4.1. So now you are on the latest version. And what you will notice is that, for instance, if we go in just a rocket here it's just a sample uh, just to show you this one um, so in here you will have some new behaviors you can see you will have usable behavior you will have play sound behavior um, and you should actually also have had another one but I haven't updated you will it will be there when you see it there's also a new toggle behavior but um, I will share a video about that um, soon too. Um, so, yeah, that's how you um, that's how you switch to the experiment branch. When you want to go back, you basically just put in the um, not when you want to go back, but once I take whatever is in the experimental and push to the normal version, um, you can go back and switch and use the normal Git URL and without this experimental hashtag at the end. So. Um, that was a very long, confusing seven minute video, but uh, that's how it is on this uh, mod creator part of the channel, because that's unedited. That's how it is. It's it's with all the ums and ahs and yeah, that annoying thing. So um, yeah, we will chat in the Discord about this new update and uh, come with your feedback as mod creators. And then um, I will uh, fix. I already have seen something I want to add and change, but I'll work on that while you test it out and give me feedback. And then uh, we do some updates. Yeah, that's it for now. Eight minutes and I'm out. Uh, see you on Discord on the next video. Bye.